Hello, it's a duty paid and I've got an update on the uh, radio to PC build. Now, I haven't been doing this full time, been doing it when I've found an hour here and there. And at far, you might think, well, not much been done. But I've been doing quite a bit of woodwork, preparation, buying bits, and it's all been taking some time. Um, quick, we start at the top. I've cut some vents here. I've only done them the other day. So I need to file them out and round them. And there will be a vent panel that goes across here. And with the handles, I've only got the rudimentary attached. Everything will be coming off paint. And I've got another long handle which goes across here. At the side, which I'll just make sure is in camera angle, I've got the uh, back plate and the uh, PCIe slots. I've cut out a slot here which is actually recessed past the back plate. And I have tested it for the uh, connections that will be on there like display port and so forth, HDMI. Now this part is only a old scrap part that I've used for fitting. The, um, this part will be painted and it will be painted gold. I've already done the uh, power supply. Um, part for the other side which I'll show you in a second but all that will be sprayed gold inside let's turn it around to the far side so I have the hole here not that spectacular but that hole will be used for the power supply mounting and that will be uh, fitted in screwed in and then the power supply will go in there. On the bottom, because you can, hopefully all this is in shot, I have to keep checking. You have a large service hole, which I've covered over. And I didn't have a hole saw, so I uh, hand cut this one, which isn't too bad because it's on underneath. And also I have new legs. Reminds me of the old uh, Forrest Gump. You got new legs, Captain Dan? So I've got new legs and they will fit in like so, running flush, front and back. These are a nice sweep one. Not sweet, sweep. So they will sweep out and that will lift the uh, computer off the ground. Give it old sort of fashion TV appearance. And I've done a fair fan here. Now what I plan to do is this will be an updraft fan. So draw in cool air in from underneath. The power supply is going to sit here. And the main sort of part I've already got finished. I've done to paint all this black inside. And the main part I've got finished is the motherboard tray. So I should bring this into shot. Really running out of thing. So this basically will slide in and with the help of this bar here that will support the front of it and then you all you have to do is just push over the motherboard into position and there'll be three screws which will pass from here down through the metal bar to keep it all secure and that also sort of takes some weight off the base as well so it's about there and what I'm planning is air from here will blow up over the uh, RAM and the CPU cooler will be roughly in the top and allow the warm air to vent through the top. So to get away with minimal fans, how many fans does a PC need? It will only be a little media server so I won't be any graphics card and stuff like that. I can always add more fans at later date. I did think of the one at the side. Blowing some air. Oh, excuse me. Pulling some air in. I'm really going to have to sort of put it together and see what the thermals are like. So as you can see a lot more painting. I <laughs> um, think I've got all the woodwork out of the way. Apart from a few bits of finishing up. I'll still have to make the doors. 
I thought I'd go for a sort of barn door arrangement. So it will open to the middle. Could always go for a sliding arrangement as well. It's uh, what is ever easiest. Um, trouble with barn doors is they will swing open. So servicing, you always got the doors open. <laughs> Ambulance or police going past. But I'm happy now I've got this part out. So to remove the motherboard tray, you take out the PSU, undo all the attachments, and then it literally be a case of lifting that over and removing the whole unit in one piece. And that motherboard is just the, if you see my other ones, a cheap one I bought on eBay just for testing and alignment purposes. This back plate here is one I cut down from a full size one on an ATX and the same with the uh, power supply bracket. So it's all coming together and not really got any sort of completion dates. As I say I find you know hour here hour there it's more like a little hobby than a full build. I'd love to do one of those slick videos where you know it's about 15 minutes long and you see me buy an old radio which I then chuck down and then there's some nice music and running through, you know. That's, and that's not going to happen. And uh, I'd like to make a video like that, but the time and effort and also you've probably seen that video about once a year from me. <laughs> I never did anything like that. So that's a quick update. So no videos for a while, just finding the time to do them. So, hope you enjoyed. I'm a duty paid and until next time, take care.